Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. And got another nice pre-owned travel trailer we're going to review today. It is Tuesday after all. And uh, got a real nice one. This was a local trade-in. Folks uh, traded this in on a motorhome. They decided to, to go a different direction. Instead of towing, they went to driving. And uh, we're going to list this one today, guys. It is a 2016 Keystone Bullet Premier. The model is a 31 bhpr and the overall tip to tip length including the tongue so the camper at its longest point is 35 feet four inches and um, it has two slide outs only weighs 6600 pounds so this is a lot of camper for those of you trying to watch your tow weight and um they can still sleep with a lot of people sleeps up to 10. it's a great family model two bedroom buck house really cool one guys this is more of an upper end camper and it's a pretty much a luxury lightweight and those two words usually don't go together but keystone made it work with the bullet premiere and these folks bought it new uh locally and they uh spent about 40 grand on it brand new back in 16 and i just 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 curiosity got the best of me of course they don't make this particular model number anymore they make a real similar floor plan so i looked it up and a brand new one is msrp is 60 now where it was 40 back then you can buy them for about 50 but by the time they add the fees and the upsells you're gonna be right back up to 60 msrp so there's no getting around it guys even if you get a discount off of msrp by the time the dealers add all the fees and then they extended warranties and upsells and all that stuff not worth the paper it's written on you're gonna be right, you're gonna be paying msrp so to buy one new you're gonna pay right around 60 grand or you can buy this one for 23.9. It's just been used several times since new, and that's it. And um, good looking camper, guys. Got the outdoor kitchen with an outside electric refrigerator, a little two burner cooktop, sink, a little extra storage. Got a power awning. It's a little dirty because we haven't washed the awning, but uh, you can see, guys, I'm not hiding nothing here. Got the stabilizer jacks, got your outside hookup out here for gas, so you can put your barbecue grill out here. Moon pie. You know it's from the Chattanooga, Tennessee area when you see that, guys. Kind of a Chattanooga thing. We'll call this one that moon pie. They've got they've got three or four moon pie stickers all over it. <laughs> but anyway, this unit does have the optional thermal package, which Got some pretty nice features. Uh, enclosed underbelly. It's got the bigger furnace, the 30,000 BTU furnace, and the radiant heat. So it's a ducted furnace and the heated floor. So, and that heated floor keeps all your tanks and plumbing from freezing. Plus, gives you, a, you know, if you walk barefoot in the wintertime in your camper, gives you a nice warm floor to walk on. You've got the aerodynamic front cap. That's part of the Premier package. It's going to help you tow a little better, help you a little better on your fuel. I mean, maybe not be much, but every little bit helps. And it looks good, too. So, you know, at 6,600 pounds and change, I mean, this is something that is in range of, you know, some half-ton trucks. Even though this is a pretty big camper for a half-ton, I do um, it recommend that you do uh, keep in mind the size of the camper you're towing as well as the weight and make sure that you always use weight distribution bars and sway control on a camper this size even if you're towing with a bigger truck and we sell them for five hundred dollars installed uh weight distribution bar with sway control installed five hundred dollars if you don't already have your own another part of the premier package is the frameless windows so you don't you know that's just one less thing you got to worry about caulking I do have the AC running. It does have 30 amp electrical service. It's got the upgrade 15,000 BTU ducted roof air. Uh, part of the Premier package too, it does have the uh, deeper slide outs, the 42 inch deep slide. So you got a lot of space on the inside. Well, at least when the slide outs are out. And you can see two big slide outs. Outside shower, tires look great got the slide toppers on both slide outs you know paint looks good i mean especially considering the age of the camper and book on this thing's way on up there too 
uh, book was twenty eight, twenty nine thousand dollars, and uh, that's the NAD. In fact, um, let me flash that up real quick. So I'm a good bit back of a uh, NADA. In fact, I'm just barely above low retail on the price at 23.9. And especially when you consider I don't have any fees or upsells, just applicable sales tax. And we also include our major systems inspection where we make sure all the major systems work. And that's included for that 23.9 price. Does have the TPO roof. And what I'll do guys, I'm gonna pop a drone up before we go inside. Show you the roof shot, I'll be right back. The BS16 Moss, good looking roof. And it is a crowned roof. And you know it's a higher end camper because most of your cheaper campers have a flat roof where the crown roof is normally in your higher end campers. And look at these steps too, guys. This is the Revolution steps. I always like these. Uh, they're a lightweight aluminum, aircraft grade aluminum. They fold up really easy and they're very, very stable. I mean, you can jump on these things and they don't put stress on your step well. I like that when you're stepping on them. Most of the stress when you step on them is going on the ground. And um, we step in here, guys. All your controls are right here. Now, only thing, this does have the darker colors in here. And even though I got all the lights on, to me, it's still a little bit dark in here. But that's because it's got the darker uh, furniture, the darker cabinets. So, you know, you could probably take the ones that the, the bulbs that are not LEDs and put the brighter LED bulbs in here that might lighten it up a little bit but and some of y'all may like it this way I'm not sure I do like the colors though I, I like a darker color but I do like uh, probably a little bit more lighting in here if it was me and you can see guys they got their uh, moon pie stickers <laughs> moon pie stickers on moon pie uh, television Roku TV, and you can see that crowned roof right there. You can see the furniture looks great. No flaking furniture here. That's a sleeper sofa. Table booth makes a bed, so you can sleep four up here. Uh, front bedroom, which, uh, again, guys, I'm not trying to, to criticize it too much, but I think they could have made the front bedroom just a little bit bigger. I would have took maybe a foot and a half, two feet from the rear bedroom, put it toward the front. But hey, guys, I don't. Heck, if I made the money the people that design these things make, I wouldn't be here shooting videos on YouTube. Believe me, <laughs> I don't design them. I don't sell them. I just, I just review them. So I don't build them. I don't design them. I'm sure they had a control group and research and development and some reason they made the bedroom this small that we don't understand but that's just the way it goes but do have his and her entrances so at least that makes it a little easier to get in you do have solid siding doors on each side which is unusual for a lightweight most lightweight campers usually just have a curtain instead of the actual doors which will give you a little bit more privacy you know of course you know privacy you know, if you've got a lot of people staying in a camper privacy is really just an illusion but every little bit helps i guess do have a dirty clothes chute that you can put your laundry basket down here uh you can get to from the outside and throw your dirty clothes down there keep keep, keep it tidy and uh got some closets in here crank up tv antenna and i just knocked the uh ah don't ever say I don't rehearse these things. I just knocked a screw out of that cabinet, out of that thing. We'll have to fix that. <laughs> Gotta love it, guys. <laughs> That's why I get for putting too much pressure on it. Um, your TV does swivel, so you can watch it from the bedroom in case you don't have to have two TVs. With the doors are shut. And um, kitchen area. 
you do have an eight cubic foot Dometic instead of the six. And I've had it on for a little while and it's already getting cold, so we're good there. And this is the RV refrigerator, it's not the 12 volt. I mean, you gotta have 12 volt to operate it, but it will run off propane or electric. You know, all refrigerators have gotta have a steady 12 volt supply for the computer so it knows how which mode to operate in. You know, I've had people call me before, my refrigerator doesn't work. Well, do you have a battery hooked up to your camper? Well, no. Well, then, you know, you have, the computer on your fridge has to have a uh, steady 12 volt supply, even when you're plugged into power to tell the computer in your RV refrigerator to run off propane or run off electricity. Oh, put a battery in it, works great. You do have a microwave, overhead storage. Double basin stainless steel sink. Three burner cooktop, looks good. Oven. Big bedroom, that's what I was saying guys. This thing's got a huge rear bedroom. I would have took probably a, and this is just me, y'all may feel differently. I probably would have took about a foot or two from here and put toward the front, but then again, if you've got three or four kids, you'd probably rather have the room back here than the adults have the smaller bedroom in the front. You've got a television. Uh, you've got a larger bunk right there. You've got a fold down bunk right here and this folds up out of the way. Let me try to do this one handed holding a camera. So when you don't need this bunk, it's out of the way. And theoretically, I should be able to do this, but I can't. <laughs> that thing is heavy. But uh, you got another sleeper sofa down here, and this makes a double bed. So you can sleep two on the sleeper sofa, one on top, and then one up here. So you could sleep four kids back here, four in the middle, and two in the front. So... You've got room for your kids, your kids to bring friends, your in-laws, your parents, your spouse, your spouse's ex, their new spouse, whoever you want to bring, you got room for them. <laughs> but uh, let's look at the bathroom. Then there's your books and manuals, of course. The bathroom. You have the RV toilet. You do have the entry door for the bathroom. And uh, that's that's a dual purpose door. Keystone figures, hey, you've got kids. If you're buying this floor plan, kids gotta go to the bathroom a lot. This way they can just duck in and out that door without tracking up the camper. If they're playing outside, use the bathroom, go right back out. There's your sink to wash your hands, there's your toilet. Or if you're lonely, you're sitting on the toilet, you wanna talk to somebody, you can open that up and talk to your neighbor. Well, not really, but. It's just depends on what kind of campground you're at. <laughs> lately, I wouldn't be surprised the way some people are acting lately, but you know, <laughs> you do have a little tub for the kids and a stand up shower for the adults and uh, medicine cabinet, all that good stuff in here. Oh, that's a great way to ask your neighbor for a roll of toilet paper, too. So, it, it, like I said, it's a multi purpose door. <laughs> Great conversation starter, let's just say that. Hey, got a curtain right here for privacy if you want to shut this off. But anyway, guys, like I said, it's the local Chattanooga, Tennessee trade in. Uh, one owner, little camper, 23.9. Uh, when this thing hits RV Trader tomorrow, it'll be the lowest priced one on there by uh, quite a bit. And you know, people are when they go on RV Trader, which is where most RV shoppers wind up looking. That's kind of the quintessential, uh, you know, NADA and RV Trader is kind of like the two most important resources for anybody wanting to buy or sell an RV. NADA tell you what the bank will loan on it. RV Trader tell you what people are selling them for. You know, and I, and I always use both to tell, make sure my prices are the best out there. 
this will be the lowest price 1631 bhpr bullet premiere on there by thousands uh, in fact one of them another 16 just like this and not near as good a shape is thirty one thousand dollars plus it's at a dealership so you know at a dealership um they're gonna have fees they're gonna have upsells thirty one thousand dollars can turn into forty one thousand dollars very very quickly here guys we keep things easy simple and done as most of you know that watch my channel it's 23.9 plus applicable sales tax there's no upsells and no fees you know if you want the weight distribution hitch and sway controller it's 500 dollars installed that's optional and if you may already have one uh if you've got uh, if you want it delivered it's a dollar a mile uh both ways a round trip a dollar a mile round trip um so if you live 500 miles away it's a thousand dollars because it's 500 there 500 back that we charge you that's us paying fuel paying my driver's pay wear and tear on our vehicles and all that and hotel room if needed stuff like that which is very very cheap most dealerships are charging two to three times that right now or more and um our prices are haggle free firm 23.9 you saw nada get on rv trader look what they're bringing as of right now at time of video production this will be the lowest price 2016 31 bhpr on there by thousands and no fees no upsells includes our major systems inspection this is what we guarantee to work on it uh, we're going to go through make sure the major systems work uh, we're going to make sure that the uh, plumbing systems work water spigots uh, faucets toilet water heater water pump make sure all that's good make sure you don't have any plumbing leaks we're going to make sure that your roof air gets to operating temp which i can tell you right now it does but my uh rv techs will officially put their stamp on it tell you that yes it's cold <laughs> we'll make sure your refrigerator and freezer gets to operating temperature both of them inside and outside which they do but officially they'll tell you we'll make sure slide outs work great uh, we'll make sure steps work great power tongue jack works great and uh, and i and, you know i went ahead and took it a, a step further for my um viewers i make sure all the lights work make sure the awning works even though that's not part of our regular checkout but if it's not broken you really can't fix it if it's not broken so tv works stereo works had it on earlier all the lights come on i got to fix that little cabinet thing that broke no big deal um there's no smoke or pet odors in here and it's a nice camper guys you know it's not been abused it's not been overly used it's not been lived in you know you don't want a camper that you know a family of five with four large dogs has lived in for four years i mean there won't be nothing left of it this has just been a little weekender camper these folks have owned and um kids have gotten older and not really going camping anymore they wanted to buy a motorhome and they traded this in on a motorhome and can't blame them so uh anyway come out and take a look at this camper and i do have a large selection of used travel trailers i got a few not on the website yet that i'm going to be trying to posting i'm kind of alternate between motorhomes and travel trailers uh tomorrow i'll try to shoot a motorhome maybe a travel trailer with it I'm not sure yet to see what what strikes my fancy when i go out here and walk the lot i just kind of I, I don't have any rhyme or reason in my videos i just go out there hey that looks nice i hadn't put it on yet let's go ahead and do it was whatever strikes my fancy today i felt like doing some travel trailers did that work and play earlier i did this one uh luckily i was able to get power uh, on this one it's close enough to plug it up but uh tomorrow i may do a motorhome i may do a fifth wheel i may do a travel trailer it just that's what i love about my job guys just whatever i'm in the mood for uh guys i actually got a couple of class b's coming in tomorrow uh maybe hopefully uh, i've got some more c's coming in got some a's coming in we bought a lot of rvs in the last few days and they're slowly starting to drift in i got some uh really neat stuff so you know if you're not a subscriber guys it would really pay for you to hit that subscribe button cost you absolutely nothing helps support my channel and helps youtube share it with other people with with the recommended videos and um and you're going to see some deals guys i mean I, i've got some incredible deals 
that I we bought in the past really the past seven days and they're all starting to trickle in I uh, just got another new Novo in brand new floor plan they just come out with I, I've got I've got it it's going through the shop right now getting PDI I always pre PDI on my new Nobos so if they get done with that I'll post it and um, you know you can't beat our prices guys period no fees no upsells you know where other dealerships they may post a price but again time you pay all the extended warranties and gap insurance and roadside assistance and campground packages and vacation packages and all the tire and wheel packages and interior and exterior protection packages and by the way guys all those things are not worth a flip they just they buy that stuff for pennies on the dollar they turn around and sell it to you for a huge profit they make a ton of money on those upsells i mean they'll make six seven thousand dollars on the upsells and um overcharge you that much for those upsells and when you need and when you want to use any of those things they're not worth the paper they're written on like those warranties guys those the only warranty that's worth the flip is a factory warranty and lately that hasn't even on the new ones hadn't really been the case um for example we had a new nobo come in and i mean this thing's brand new it just came in forest river it, it had a pinhole in the faucet when we did the pdi it shot water out the back of the faucet had a pinhole like somebody took a, a, a little uh heck i don't know like a nail and a hammer and put a hole right into the neck of the faucet and you know what forest river wouldn't cover it so we 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 ordered a new faucet out of our of course we didn't charge customer for it that bought the camper but we that eventually bought it. we didn't add nothing to the price but we just you know we had to buy it and pay for it out of pocket put it in ourselves obvious factory defect and we didn't we we hadn't had the unit on the lot for 24 hours when we discovered it so lately guys factory warranties on new campers are not even really paying much and i know the aftermarket warranties have never paid much of anything at all i mean they make money by selling those warranties to the dealership who turns around for four or five hundred dollars who turns around and sells it to the people who buy the campers for three or four thousand dollars that's they don't no more than they're pay, charging the dealer for those warranties they're not they're not going to pay any claims guys if they do it's going to be very very little so uh i always say no to aftermarket warranties they're not worth the flip not worth the paper they're written on gap insurance if you bought it right why do you need gap insurance if you need gap insurance then you over you're overpaying for it and if you have to have it go to your auto insurance company you can get it for a fraction of the cost of what the dealer's charging you so I mean, I try to give you common sense solutions, try to save you some money, and um, and you know, guys, I you know, I get thanked for it a lot, and I appreciate that. Guy. And I, I actually had people call me uh, this morning and thank me for their advice. It saved them a lot of money. They rented a off world, and they did everything that I said they were going to try to do to them. They came in on a price that was advertised online, and it was almost double before. Uh, is what they would have spent almost double on a little cheap camper before they left with it and they just they finally just crumbled up the paper and walked out and said forget it because of my videos and I save those folks a lot of money you can always get out and walk out guys there's other dealerships other campers for sale don't let don't get ripped off there's no reason why you have to buy a particular one you know if the deal if they're adding too much stuff to it get out and walk out i never pay a fee i've never paid a fee in my life i've walked out and left i don't care how good the deal is if the dealership starts adding fees adding up sales i'm gone i don't care how cheap the price is but all they're doing is just adding profit to it to make up for a selling it for a lower price now it's just shuffling money around is all it is it's like msrp yeah a dealership may knock off ten thousand dollars off msrp but then they add it right back on with the profit from the upsell so you're really still paying msrp you're not saving nothing off that but anyway guys thank y'all so much for watching i didn't mean to rant but if you're interested in this camper give us a call 706-965-7929 call before coming to look make sure somebody hadn't beat you to it uh like i said we cover the major stuff make sure all the major systems work we'll leave the mickey mouse stuff to you to repair um if it needs anything at all and uh, that's why we always recommend you come down look at it first do your own inspection or hire a third party inspection service guys everybody should do that on any new or used rv 
spend a few hundred dollars get a independent third party inspection and um, hey it's you won't buy a home without an RV inspection or without a home inspector why would you buy an RV without an RV inspection so uh, definitely always recommend those new and used purchases RV inspector if the dealership won't let an RV inspector come there you need to find a different dealership because <laughs> they're hiding something anyway guys thank y'all so much for watching appreciate it and um come out visit with us call before coming to look remember we have delivery we have financing available with approved credit and down payment with no dealer interest rate markup we don't mark interest rates up like other dealerships do which overcharge you by potentially hundreds if not thousands of dollars by marking the rate up just easy simple and done that's our philosophy guys been doing this since 1968 thanks again for watching and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.